you're talking about temperatures in the mid 70s. Now, Erin, that's actually a little bit below average, but uh -huh. still, I mean, it's still the last day of spring. We're getting that summer like weather condition. If you look to the south and west on this last day of spring, way down around Arizona, Nevada, California, they're talking about temperatures up near 120 today. So you consider yourselves lucky that we've got just a little bit of sun, clouds, and temperatures that will be topping out in the mid-70s. Sunset at 828 tonight. Temperature even at that point will be right at around 68 degrees. Your temperature is currently coming in at about 75 degrees for Midway. We've got about 71 Waukegan, 75 for McHenry, and 73 at DeKalb. Let's see what DeKalb does through the day today. We're going to get up uh, into the mid 70s and then start to drop back down into the 60s. Could potentially see some scattered showers and storms. That activity may actually develop a little bit farther east than DeKalb. Uh, we do see some shower and storm activity out here near South Bend right now. A few showers up to the far north of McHenry and Lake Counties. Other than that, rest of the area fairly dry for now. But later on today, take a peek. We're going to see more shower and storm activity. This is at around 3:30 this afternoon. We'll continue to see the potential for just garden variety activity. Now, that being said, we could see a little bit of small hail. It would likely be well below advisory or warning criteria. However, just keep in mind that we could see some active weather, even if it's not severe, a little later on this afternoon. And again, tomorrow afternoon, looking at Tuesday, we're looking at some showers and storms even at around 1 o'clock tomorrow. And then continuing through into the early evening time period, Wednesday should be a relatively dry day, all told. The uh, risk for severe weather today is out east. So yes, even though we have the thunderstorms today, the risk for severe storm activity is more so from just south of Boston through New York City, Philadelphia, down to Washington. So this corridor could see a bit of an active afternoon and could potentially see some flight delays related to that. And we may see some issues uh, related to this as well over the next few days. California, Nevada, Arizona, and even parts of Utah under excessive heat warnings and heat advisories because temperatures are going to be soaring there upwards of one 20 in many areas and those kind of temperatures are going to last through into the weekend. So they're talking about an extended period of extremely hot weather. 118 in Phoenix today, 107 in Sacramento. A little cooler at LAX where that official recording is taken, but eastern portions of Los Angeles temperatures will be very hot as well. Now we're looking at around 76 degrees here. Again, as I said, a little cooler than average. And we're looking at that potential for shower and storm activity to fire up into the afternoon. A little breezy at times out there today, but generally I think for the most part a pretty decent day. Just make sure you have those umbrellas from this point forward. We're looking at uh, some storminess early tonight and then clearing out. 61 degrees the overnight low into the day tomorrow. Once again, a mix of sun and clouds and some scattered showers, possibly a storm or two in the afternoon. A little bit warmer tomorrow up to 78. Back up to the 80s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with some sporadic rain chances through the week. And then the weekend looks pretty good. Temperatures in the 70s and some sunshine. But we are talking about Aaron in the southwest. That heat is absolutely incredible. And we're well over 100 degrees across a huge chunk of the southwest. Yeah, that's dangerous. Plus the fire danger that they've got going on in um, right. parts of New Mexico, too. We'll that will add to that. Yep. Thanks, Megan.